Though Typhoon Kopu is long gone, a muddy trail of devastation was left in its wake in the Philippines with the experience of Typhoon Kansena and Haiyan under their belts. City volunteers set up cash for work cleanup drives to recruit local residents to restore their community while receiving compensation for their efforts. The latest event was held at a local elementary school in Nueva Ecija province's Cabana Tuan City. Let's join them there. When Typhoon Kopu made landfall in the Philippines, it showed no mercy here at Nueva Ekija Province's Cabana Tuan City. To help with cleanup efforts, the Philippines government sent out heavy machinery to clear away the mud on major streets. The local Sumaka Elementary School was among the areas still in need of a major cleanup, with mud levels reaching the knee. Because of Typhoon Kopu, our school was forced to close down. Almost all of Barangay Sumacab Norte was affected. Our students, all 1,069 of them, are currently unable to continue with their schooling. As soon as city volunteers surveyed the situation, they brought in cleanup equipment and set up a cash for work program to recruit local residents to solve this muddy situation. When we came to the school to survey it, it seemed only the teachers had been working to clean up the campus. They had been doing so for about a week, but to no avail. We thought perhaps we can gather our strength here today to help the school with this cleanup drive. On the first day of the cash for work program, 209 residents joined the effort. Working hand in hand with the city volunteers so that children may return to their studies as quickly as possible. <laughs> 